in this video I will show how do we highlight a row based on some need uh, say for example uh, we are displaying the book titles here um, and the price is equivalent to 20 or above we will highlight that particular row here So what I am doing first, uh, I am selecting the report. Uh, the goal is uh, highlighting the row, right? So I am clicking the detail section now. If I set a highlight property, say for example setting some background color and uh, giving a different foreground color, then it will appear for each and every row. But uh, that is not what we want to do. What we want to do is uh, highlight the row when the price of the book, this one, uh, the price of the book is more than 20 or equal to 20. So I'm choosing the property, table row 2, which is a detail. Uh, I want to set a um, background color for this. If I set the background color directly, then uh, it is applied to all the rows. So I want to apply the background color selectively. So what I am doing is I am picking the expression again here. So the error says uh, expression must start with an equivalent. So I'm placing the equal to first. Um, I'm using the immediate if statement, which is a uh, VB or uh, even C++ user knows this. Immediate if. Uh, I'm placing the expression here. Expression is. Uh, the expression is coming from the database field. I am selecting fields here. And then selecting uh, price. Because based on price, uh, we are going to form the expression. Here in the immediate if uh, the selected price is displayed. This value should be greater than or equal to 20. If that's the case, the true part. True part is uh, color. Um, I'm selecting a green color. Okay, this is background property, right? I'm selecting black here. Otherwise, it is white. So, uh, the back color property of the row, I mean, black color property of each row is controlled by this formula. So, when a report is executing the detail section, it will pass the price for each row and the background color for that row is uh, decided based on the expression evaluation uh, so it will be either uh, black or white so when it will become black uh, it will become black when uh, the price is equal to 20 or it is more than 20 so i'm clicking ok to this expression The detail uh, is uh, still selected here. Uh, I set the background color based on the expression. Similarly, the foreground color also I am specifying it based on some expression. Uh, let me copy this expression, it will be useful. Uh, 
so for this color property also i'm going to apply same expression with a different color change i'm pasting the expression that i already copied i'm inverting the color here and i'm clicking okay to this expression saving the report now we will run the report and see how it is working Yes, the report is generated. Uh, let's see how it is working. Look at here. There are two bugs which is uh, highlighted here. Um, the book is twenty two point nine five, and this is twenty. That's why it's highlighted. So here uh, you see the expression is evaluating and setting the color for uh, these uh, rows. With, uh, these rows have price more than 20 or equal to 20, and uh, we are having a black background color with a white foreground when this uh, price condition meets the expression that we uh, provided.